The Queen made another surprise appearance yesterday and was pictured beaming as she was given a special gift from the President of Azerbaijan. In the courtyard of Windsor Castle, the 96-year-old monarch was presented with a rare Karabakh horse as a gift from President Ilham Aliyev. The Queen was pictured smiling and clutching a walking stick, as she met with representatives of the Equestrian Federation of Azerbaijan. Alongside the horse, named Shorat which means glory, the sovereign was also the recipient of two equestrian-themed sculptures made by Azerbaijani sculptor Fink Hajiyev. The monarch received the presents from the president after his country was invited to perform at the recent Platinum Jubilee celebrations. The queen, who has a lifelong passion for all things equestrian, described the gesture as being very kind, very generous. The Karabakh horse is native to Azerbaijan and is used for endurance events and races. One recently sold at auction for the equivalent of £14,000. The country has taken part in the Royal Windsor Horse Show since 2012 and were among 1,300 performers taking part in this year's event. For this year's performance, Azerbaijan equestrians performed a colorful Land of Fire show that featured traditional music and dances as well as riders waving the country's flags. Their performance featured Karabakh horses, like the one gifted to Her Majesty. Royal fans took to Twitter to express their delight at how happy the Queen appeared upon receipt of her horse-themed gifts. One user, at Jen Carson Taylor, wrote, What a beauty! What generous and gracious gifts from President Aliyev! Absolutely splendid to honor the Queen in this way. Also amazing she is out and about after such a long evening. She looks so happy and that makes us happy. At 19 Hope 60 added, What a magnificent animal plus beautiful sculptures! What better gifts for a Queen! Those Azeri horsemen plus women and also the Omani riders were absolutely phenomenal to watch last night. Incredible horsemanship! No wonder hmm looked so delighted with the spectacle. A third, called Samantha, chimed in with, It is so wonderful to see HMQ enjoying her guests and the start of her hashtag Platinum Jubilee. I hope she stays rested and as fit as possible. One more, called Margaret Wilcox, wrote, Oh wow! What an absolutely beautiful horse! So lovely to see our queen looking so happy and well. The monarch was pictured watching a gallop through history, on Sunday, just one day before these photos were taken. The horse-themed event was attended by celebrity names including Tom Cruise and Dame Helen Mirren. The event is traditionally a staple in the Queen's calendar, and this year it was made all the more poignant as it featured a tribute to her late husband Prince Philip. The couple's granddaughter Lady Louise Windsor drove her late grandfather's carriage around the arena, nodding to her and the Duke of Edinburgh's shared love of carriage driving. The Queen watched on proudly as the 18-year-old daughter of Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, took part in the procession to mark the finale of the event. The 96-year-old, who now rarely carries out public engagements outside of her royal residences and was using a walking cane, picked up a limited-edition Elizabeth Line Oyster card. It had already been topped up with five pounds for the Queen, who famously rarely carries cash. A cross-rail worker showed how the ticket machine worked before the monarch asked where passengers could travel to. Dressed in sunshine yellow, the Queen arrived at Paddington at 11.32 a.m stepping carefully from the transparent lift while holding a walking stick and smiling warmly. Unveiling a plaque stating that she had officially opened the Elizabeth line, the monarch spent ten minutes in the station before leaving in a lift, escorted by her son Edward. The Earl then returned to the concourse ahead of a return journey on the railway from Paddington to Tottenham Court Road. Her attendance was not publicly announced in advance, with a head of state facing ongoing mobility problems, but organizers were told there was a possibility she might be able to attend. But in a major clue an hour and a quarter before Edward was due to arrive, Transport for London removed a plaque saying he had opened Crossrail and replaced it with one eight inches lower bearing the Queen's name. The Queen's outfit was a Stuart Parvin double wool crepe coat with an A-line silk dress in shades of yellow, royal blue and turquoise, and a matching hat by Rachel Trevor Morgan. She was wearing her Singapore brooch, 